No ticket back in. Meg's plot to tag along with Harry to visit London for photo op while Kate's in hospital. Royal family fans were shocked this month when Princess Catherine was hospitalised and underwent abdominal surgery. Nobody was more shocked than Meghan Markle and Prince Harry though, who were the last ones to learn about anything happening at the palace. Is this the chance Meghan Markle has been waiting for? When Meghan Markle married Prince Harry a few years ago, she learned the hard way that there was only room for one future Queen of England. Rather than be at the bottom of the pecking order, Meghan Markle convinced Harry to jump ship and leave the royal family. Princess Catherine's health crisis is no small ordeal. It can take months to fully recover from abdominal surgery. Plus, she's going to be on strict bed rest when she does leave the London clinic so that her abdomen can heal. Imagine trying to do your day-to-day activities and care for three kids without moving your stomach. Royal family reports show that Princess Catherine will not be resuming her royal family duties and appearances until after Easter, so it could be two to three months minimum before Prince William's wife gets back to work and doing her appearances. Rumour has it Meghan Markle's pressuring Prince Harry to visit London so she can tag along and finally get a time to shine while Kate's out of commission. Of course, Meghan Markle doesn't want to be a full-blown royal again. That would actually mean doing some work. But she's thrilled to have the opportunity to step out in England while Kate doesn't appear. After everything Meghan Markle did, she's delusional if she really thinks the royals will welcome her with open arms because they have a spot to fill in their photo ops. Even if Catherine takes years to recover, they'll wait for her to recover rather than get caught up in Meghan Markle's web of deceit again. Recently, Meghan and Harry are trashing the royal family in an attempt to raise their public profile. The problem there is, as a pair at the moment, they're not succeeding, and I see this visit to Jamaica as a bit of grandstanding, which has specifically been planned because they do absolutely nothing which isn't planned in advance, very, very carefully. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were expected to help King Charles modernise the monarchy, but plans changed once the duo decided to step down from their senior level roles. The thing is with this, that's why Prince Harry was called the spare, so they could call on him at times like this when they'd need him to step up to the plate, Lizzie Cundy said on GB News. The former Bond girl was friends with Meghan before she became a working duchess, and she's been critical of the suit star since she left the UK. Days after it was announced Charles and Kate would be on medical leave, Harry attended the Legends of Aviation Awards in California, and he joked about his father's piloting skills. But sadly, he's ruined it all. He'd rather be schmoozing and coughing champagne with the likes of John Travolta. Cundy continued, it's quite sad. The fact is, King Charles had no choice. He had to slim down the royal family because there was no Harry and Meghan anymore as working royals. And there was the Prince Andrew scandal as well, the model noted. Remember what happened with the whole interview on Oprah when Prince Philip was dying? Television host Nana Akua asked Cundy. They didn't bother with that one, she said. They didn't care. As for the Queen... She died thinking there was an alleged discriminator, which there wasn't. 